Our funding comes uh, totally from the state of Missouri. And besides the building that's provided by our school district, we have to um, service families with the money we get from the state. If there were um, something to be concerned about with Zachary, the new baby, we, we would detect it earlier with her being here this early instead of waiting until he starts school. Right. And then, by then it may be too late to even fix what, whatever might be going on. Maybe. There's no way I wouldn't want him in this program. And I do hope it will be around when Gabrielle or other children get a little bit older. Because for me, it's really, really helpful. As far as me being a stay-at-home mom and them being staying-at-home kids, they get a little taste of what kids do at daycares, and they still don't miss out on learning certain things. So for me, I would love for the program to stay around. The budget cuts to parents as teachers this year have been devastating. For the first time in 25 years in our district, we have to have a waiting list for families. And that is a really sad thing when a family calls in, wants to participate, needs help, and we have to put them on a waiting list because the funding is no longer there. Our district screens over a thousand children a year. And this year, for the first time, we're looking at cutting back the number of screenings that we do. In fact, we have already talked about maybe not screening six-month to one-year-olds for hearing, vision, health, and development because it's a way we can cut back on the numbers. That is a really sad thing because the earlier that we catch these things, the better off the children are. Last year, in the first month of school, we found four children who needed glasses in, in one month alone. To think that because of the cuts, we might not pick up on a child who, who needs glasses and whose development is being impacted is devastating to us. We want all families to be able to participate. We don't want to have to tell a neighbor on your street that they can't participate because our funding's been cut when this program was supposed to serve all families free of charge. And we did a great home visit, and she did a hearing test on my daughter, and my daughter failed it. And I couldn't believe it, so she referred me to an ear, nose, and throat doctor, which I took my daughter to right away. She had a mass on her eardrum and had to have surgery to remove the mass. She was two years old at the time, almost two. So I kept thinking, what would have happened had I waited till she went to kindergarten to get that, you know, hearing test? They cut our three to five program, which um, for probably most people will mean less visits for those three to five year olds. Um, we're not even sure what the impact will be yet, but it's really hard to tell parents, you know, that are involved, well now we have to come less. It's hard enough to evaluate what they're doing in four visits a year or in the cases of the three to fives, two visits a year. If you cut that, it's gonna make it even more difficult. Putting your money in early childhood is preventative and uh, we can save money, schools can save money and that message needs to get out and be supported throughout this country. Instead of spending dollars when it's too late, we should spend dollars in prevention and that's what Parents as Teachers is all about.